hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome my name is sharita and the name of my channel is unique by sharita so in today's video we'll be taking this space and removing all of the decor except the items that are on the wall we're going to move some furniture around off camera and then we'll clean it up and come back and decorate the space so please stay tuned all right so here is the space with majority of the decor pieces out of the room i usually set everything over in this area but i decided to move it over into the kitchen area so here's a look of the space again i decided to leave the lamps over here because I do not want to risk breaking them. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to tackle are these blinds. I am going to replace them after I get the work that's being done in here completed. But for now, let's go ahead and take care of what we already have. So I'm a firm believer in, you know, just taking what you have and making the best of it. So I'm just going to clean the blinds with a completely dry cloth or a dry rag dry towel you can even use a sock there's no real easy way to do it just blind by blind and then i'm going to go outside and clean the windows because in the summertime my husband is really bad about spraying um insect spray all over the windows and things like that so it really looked bad so i'm just going to go ahead and clean the windows inside and out so i can have a beautiful view again just an fyi i'm just using dawn detergent just a little drop to clean it and then i'm following up with my sprayway glass cleaner and a really thick old towel balled up into a knot so I can get a real good, crisp, clean, dry window. All right, so I'm just going to continue on and I'll check back in with you guys later. I just wanted to get those little tips out of the way and we'll just move right on. just using spray way for all of my glass surfaces and of course my method wood cleaner and the almond scent for all of my wood surfaces
forgot to mention that I did move the rug and the sofa and everything that's on it over closer to the credenza because I'm going to take the credenza out and this will give us more or the same amount of walk-in space. So just going to move the credenza out the way. And after the floors are done, I have no plans of bringing that credenza back into the space. I'm using my Method wood cleaner again, and I moved everything out except for the table and large items. I did move them around off camera, but I wanted to move my chairs out the way so I can get a good cleaning, a good vacuuming under the table. And here I'm just wiping my glass, glass lamps down and I'm just using my spray weight cleaner for it as well. And don't forget, we always forget to get up under our credenzas and side tables and end tables really good. But don't forget, we have to get up under them because dust tends to float right up under things and in the corners. I'm going to take you all into my kitchen so you can see where everything is. And of course, this kitchen is a mess right now, but it's okay. We'll get it back together. We're going to get it back together. So here's a lot of the things that I pulled out of the living room, dining room area, and it's going to go right back in here. So let's go ahead and get started with the decorating. But first, Let's go ahead and put this rug down. Remember, I purchased this rug a while ago and I have not used it yet. So I felt like this is the perfect area for it. Moving right along to the bookcase. This is the Trisha Yearwood bookcase and it is discontinued. That decorative box is actually made from leather. It's a dark green. There's another one that goes with it. It's going on the coffee table. I'm just going to fill this thing up this time with a lot of black, bronze, and a little bit of white. A lot of the items on the bookcase I have already had, but if I do have links, I will leave it in the description under the topic bookshelf. So feel free to look in the description. I'll have the items or links there if I have access to them. Just going to finish the look over here on the bookcase with these beautiful leopard pumpkins that I purchased from Home Goods, but they also sell them at Z Gallery. I'll leave the link for it in the description. This lamp I've had forever. It used to be a dark brown color. I purchased it from a outlet store in Memphis and I just spray painted it a bright gold and a light gold to give it a manufactured look. And these three beautiful pillows, I get a lot of people asking where did I purchase them from? I got them from Home Goods. One I got last year and the other two I got year before last around this time of the year. So this is the time of the year you may be able to find these pillows in Home Goods or online. They were $34.99. And this throw I got from Home Goods as well. And this Chevron multicolor faux fur pillow, I got it from Home Goods. And, and I shared it in my last haul. I got a great deal on it. It was only $19.99 and it is perfect for my fall colors. All right, so let's move over to the coffee table. I have links to most of the items over here on the coffee table. As I mentioned, whatever I have a link to, I'll share it in the description. 
under coffee table. So I'll try my best to label everything so to make it easy to be found. And I'll also use my magic link page so you can click that and go straight to pictures of the items on the page. All right, so let's move the plants back in. I just set them outside because they were closer to the door instead of moving them to the kitchen area. So let's just move them back in and we'll carry on. Since we're not going to put the credenza back here, we're going to change the direction of the art. So since we have a full wall, we can have a full length piece of art right here. So that's what you see me doing, just changing the direction. And I'll probably, when we redo this area, I'll probably bring the picture down just a little bit. I think it's a little too high. What do you think? Let me know in the in the comment area. What do you think? Is that picture a little bit too high? I had to hang it a little bit higher because of the wall plug. I do plan to change the color of it, but I'm wondering, do I need to bring it down some? Some luck in the buck. I don't give a up so and so and say. Finally got my friends in the back of my roller. We gon' make it big one day. We gon' make it big, I say. We gon' make it big, just stay in the, stay in the moon. Stay in the moon with me. Way too many heartbreaks still on your mind Let the flame burn down for a while Let the frame burn out for a while Stay in the moon Stay in the moon with me Give you a moment Give you a moment with me Smell all the roses Smell all the roses with me Just give you a moment
And this is the look you see when you come in from the front door. Do you see how the art in the hallway pulls the colors from the pillow on the sofa? It feels good to have a beautiful, clean view of the backyard. The windows are now clean. All right, everyone, this is the finished look of the area. And just a brief recap of why I took out the credenza. Now, I originally purchased the one that I left in there to replace the one I took out. And because of COVID, I was uncomfortable with selling large items, coming in contact with other people when it came to things like that. So now I'm in a better space when it relates to COVID. So I'm going to put it up for sale. And part of the reason why I went ahead and did, I'm doing it now is because when we get our new flooring, it will not be back in this area. So I just want to go ahead and get it out. And thank you all for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, turn your notification on so you'll be notified when I post videos. I hope I was able to give you some inspiration and motivation as it relates to decorating your home. So don't forget to hit that like button and um, feel free to share and leave comments in the comment section. I really do enjoy reading them. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.